Today I'm going to do a tag on 10 things that make me happy and that I am grateful for. I miss my walks along the ocean. I miss watching the boats and people ride their bikes. But maybe it's time, right now, that I forget about myself and I think about others. Hello, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today and welcome if you are new to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would just love to have you subscribe. Push the little bell if you want to be notified when my latest uh, video is up. Today, I'm going to be doing a tag, as I had said earlier, a tag that's 10 things that make me happy or grateful for. And this tag was started by L, as for L is for living. It's a really great tag, especially at this time when we're all staying in place and lacking human connection with one another. It's a great idea, so let's go. The first thing that I'm very grateful for and is my faith. I rely very deeply on my faith because it does keep me positive and it keeps me going. The second thing I am so grateful for is my family. Um, I, I have three children and my husband. I, I am so grateful. And I have said before, the best job that I have ever had in my life was being able to be a mother. That certainly was such a gift to me. And even though my children are spread out throughout the country, uh, during this time, we FaceTime, we keep in touch with one another and try to get through this thing together. But my children are so important to me and I have the support of my husband, thank heavens, at his age, he is still here with me. So I'm very grateful for that. So that is number two. I'm so grateful for my children and my family. The third thing, I'm so grateful for you. I really am. I'm so grateful for each one of you who chooses to spend a few minutes once or twice a week with me here on YouTube. I think it's given a purpose to your life and it certainly has given me a renewed purpose to my life. As I have said so many times earlier, you know, I used to be a romper room teacher and I would guide and try to help my little children uh, grow up to be good doobies. Well, I kind of think maybe that some of you have come along with me throughout the years and uh, we are sharing our experiences, our adventures, our problems, and we are sharing everyday lifestyle and things that we all have in common together. So that gives me a renewed purpose and perhaps a different chapter in my life. And I'm so very grateful for each and every one of you. I am grateful and I'm happy when I'm home. Right now, if I didn't like my home, I think I'd really be miserable. <laughs> but I, I am grateful for where I live, I'm grateful to be able to sit out on my balconies, go up in my garden. And I know that there are people who are less fortunate than I am. 
So I am extremely grateful that I do have at least one place that I can lay down and rest my head. And I'm also grateful that my son has given me a place in Nashville. Whether or not I'll ever get there, I don't know. With this pandemic going on and we can't travel, you know, I usually leave here around the middle of June to go to Nashville. But I don't think this uh, summer it's going to be that easy. So I am grateful that it's there for me when I need it. But um, I am so happy with my home here. And, and I am very happy for that. The next thing I am grateful for, and it makes me happy, is every day that I wake up and I can see the sunrise and every night when I go to bed and I can see the sunset. When I see the sunrise, it makes me realize, wonderful, I have another day here on this earth to live my life with purpose and to live my life to the fullest, and every night when I watch the sunset, I think, oh boy, I can't wait till tomorrow, and let's see what kind of adventure lies ahead of me then. You know, the adventures are smaller now that we are here, but I am just so grateful for each and every day that I'm here on this planet. The next ones, I'm going to do seven, eight, and nine together, but yet separately. When I started my channel three years ago, it was a lifestyle channel and I covered all different things. I go back and I look at some of my earlier videos and I said, wow, <laughs> wow. But I eventually became embraced by the beauty community. And those of you, my subscribers, you know that my channel is not at all all about beauty. I have some beauty, but I have lifestyle, motivation, fashion, basically all the things that I think maybe those of us who are pro-aging are interested in. So a lot of times my videos are not about makeup or get ready with me's or what new products that I have bought. But let me tell you, there are three wonderful women who are in this beauty community that I've been meaning to send and to do a video about, but I'm going to combine it within this gratitude and happy video. There are three women in this beauty community that I really have to shout out to, and I have to give them a great big gratitude for their support. No matter what I am filming, no matter what the topic is, whether they are truly interested or not, these three women have been so supportive of me from the very beginning. And I will forever be grateful to each one of these wonderful women who have been supporting me the whole time, even though they've been on here for five, six, and maybe even more years. So thank you so very much. And I'm going to call them out. Mary Ellen of Mary Ellen After 60. She is such a wonderful lady. She watches every single one of my videos, no matter what I am filming, no matter what the topic is. She's always been so encouraging and so supportive of me. And she has a very interesting channel. She does a lot of giveaways and a lot. She has, used to be a nurse. I mean, she still has her nurse's nursing certificate, but she used to actually work as a nurse. But she is so informative and knows so much about skin care and makeup. And, and I just love her. And I am so grateful for her support. The next one is Natalie, the beauty diva. Now, Natalie is my sister from another mother way up in Canada. She is a maven. She knows how to put makeup on. She knows everything about skincare. She does the most beautiful looks and has such a wide, wide knowledge of all kinds of beauty products. She is 
glamorous. She has a warm, big heart. And you, her channel is just always so interesting. But Natalie, no matter what I am filming, she is always there every single time to support me. And both of these women have, have uh, given shout outs to me. I've done collabs with Mary Ellen. So I thank these two women so very much. And the third woman is L as for L is for living. And this is the tag. I'm doing her tag today. But L also is another one who is so smart. She does book reviews. She does favorites. She knows a lot about autoimmune illnesses and products to take. She knows a great deal about beauty. She uh, lives in Arizona and is just such a beautiful soul and a beautiful person and has been one of the three women that no matter what, no matter what crazy thing my topic is on, the three of them always watch and they always comment. And, and Elle is on Instagram and I am as well. And she always uh, is supportive of my Instagram page as I am of hers. So um, I am so grateful, seven, eight, and nine, to these beautiful women. I am going to be putting the links to their channels below. But please thank you, Elle, Mary, Ellen, and Natalie, for being so supportive of me all of these years. And that support has given me the courage to grow my channel. Thank you so very much. And of course, the last one is my sweet Sophie. You know, she hasn't been able to get to the groomer, so she's getting really hairy. <laughs> and she's probably kind of hot. Are you hot, Sophie? But anyway, Sophie gives me lots of joy and lots of pleasure. Uh, we're both missing our long, long walks that we used to take along the beach. But as soon as the beaches open up, I hope we will be able to take our walks again along the beach. Okay, Sophie, you can get down now and you can uh, go back to sleep. <laughs> She's been taking her uh, indoor time by sleeping most of the day. So she likes that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Elle. This was just a very interesting tag. Thank you much, so much for sharing it with all of us. Please be good to yourself today. Do something kind for someone, even as I said, picking up the phone and saying hello to someone and making their day just a little bit brighter. And of course, let's all share the love because we all need it every single day. Thank you, and I hope to see you in my next video.